All right, guys, welcome to today's episode of Cava Studios. We are looking at another planeswalker today, and it is Gideon. So what does Gideon do? I love Gideon, by the way. He says, lead the charge. Gideon can join three or more creatures in your attack. Drag Gideon out to summon him and launch the attack. Okay, so basically, if you've got three, at least three creatures fighting, Gideon can pop out and make sure you do drag him onto the field so that he can fight too. He doesn't take damage. He's got like permanent armor and he's a 3-3. Three, three. You can buff him up though with Gideon's protection. Give a friendly creature armor and give Gideon 1-1 one, one permanently. So if you can use this, there's two copies in the deck so he can become a 5-5. Five, five. Perfect. What else does he have? Ardent Supporter is just a 1 mana 2-1, but he gets two sub. Well, you get to add a random white creature with two cost or less to your hand. He's okay. We don't use him though. Okay, and we've got Gideon's Veteran, which has 3-2 armor. Guys, very nice for attacking. These guys are very solid. And you can play Gideon in the form of Rush, no doubt. But what we do, very different. Because of this, love this land card, guys. Sacred Sanctum, he says you start with plus 5 health, and after turn 5, you have a 20% 20, 20 chance to heal for 1, and you get an empty mana gem. So, guys, why is that good? Because of this magical unicorn. Your healing effects heal for plus one. So if your, your land heals you for one, you heal for two. Nice. What else do we have? We have a flask here that heals for two three times. But it can heal for three three times, which is nine. Nine times two artifacts is 18 HP. Guys, it's, that's a lot of healing. What else have we got? We got this person that heals and this magical angel that says, heal yourself for half the amount of the damage you took last turn. Round it up. So if you just took like 20 damage, you can heal for 10 suddenly with this angel. Guys, this is great, 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 great. And we have so many flyers in the deck. We're, li we're trying to make it to the late game. You, you can play whatever you want, but as long as it's only one color in this deck, I'll tell you why though. So this helps us get to that 10 mana. Remember, even though we heal, we get an empty mana gem because of this reflective golem, guys. Look at this, six mana, five, five. But if you're starting a deck and Planeswalker are one color, double this creature's power and health. He's a 10, 10 for six mana. Guys, and if you've got Pan Harmonican on the field, he becomes a 15-15. What else can Pan Harmonican work with? Let's have a look here. It was here somewhere. Yes, we've got the healing effects, and also we've got Stone Forge Mystic that gives us really epic weapons. Guys, did you just go all out and like lose all your minions? Rebirth them all, guys. Rebirth them all. And if you're ready, if you're not ready to lose them all. Celestial Protector, another flying that just gives all your other creatures armor. This is a late game deck for Gideon, and I haven't lost. It's a very strong deck. So let's see if we lose this time. All right, guys, welcome to the game. It's an honor to face you. Tank Gideon. What can we say? Look, he's huge. Oh, a Johnny. <laughs> I can't wait to try Ajani. I think Ajani is going to be a boost. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, ooh, he's got the extra land, uh, sorry, extra mana gem card. Ooh, reflective goal, and we might be able to get there sooner than we think. So I think I might keep the Silver Griffin, retaliate this guy, and lingering spirit. All right, let's do it. We don't need protection yet. All right, we get the benefit of his land and our land. Tanky, aren't we? Got a coupon. Still, can summon a Griffin and a Lingering Spirit. I mean, I'll be doing absolutely no damage for a while, but now nah, I'll, I'll, I'll save the coupon. That sucks. All right, let's see what we get. Stoneforge Mystic. And a unicorn. Okay. So next turn we can do three damage to him. If we summon this. In defense. Alright, let's do that. We'll summon him in defense. And we'll also summon the griffin. Alright. Cool. Sort of a sort of gonna be slow just because this guy's so beefy. If he buffs him up, we're gone. 
He's obviously in it for the late game too. I will defend with the 1-1. I wonder what's going to happen. He's probably going to buff him. If he buffs him, then we're in big trouble. And that's what he's all about, right? So, let's see what happens. Yep, he buffed him. Armor. Okay. Then we will not go for the kill. We will defend with the Stoneforge Mystic. Oopa. That is good. Can't play it this time. We're going to try killing with flyers. Alright, what happened there? What was that sound? I guess he picked up a creature. With plus one, plus one. So next turn we can retaliate. And yeah, definitely we're going to go with Mystic Weapon. I wonder if he has flyers. Oh, that's, that's cool. Well played there. We're going to have a really hard time. Alright. Yep, Mystic. Oh, this is so sad. This will be very slow. Okay, so at least we can take him down. Oh, I wish to play the Armory. Nah, we, we gotta get rid of this guy. We'll start taking too much damage. We could play a Pony, but we're not. We're gonna start doing damage. Let him deal with the griffin. Because the griffin is doing damage. Okay, 5-3 with armor. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. That is really cool. No, I will not defend. Now we are in trouble. I still want to do mobile armory though. No, I'm going to have to go with the heals. And then go with... Oh, that's another flyer. No, we're going with the pony. We're going to try to delay this. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We'll race it, we'll race it. That's really nice. I like those combos. I can't wait to play a Johnny too, but... Oop, stun. Okay, so he's going ham. Fair, fair. Can you buff anyone is the question. He has two mana. Did he get another wolf? Okay, 21. Yeah, we're going to play the golem. All right. A little bit of defense for us. And let's heal ourselves. Hopefully we get some more healing next turn. Because remember the unicorn does make us, if our land does give us a heal, gives us two health instead. This is a really strong guy. God, guys, that's time again. Well, he had thwack twice. Okay, we'll get rid of the armor. Technically, that's more healing. All right. What are you gonna do with the rest? Thwack twice, guys. That's that's something. I think we're gonna play the angel for some more heals. Holy moly, that that is some value, guys. All right, we took a lot of damage. I'm, I'm gonna play this. Four health, that's not bad. Okay. 
Actually, I should have saved that for the following turn, to be honest. Oh no, I can defend now, thank god. <laughs> that was something. We can give ourselves armor as well. Alright, so let's let's play this out properly. Uh, one back, two back. You want me to trade my flyers, do you? Okay, you're gonna go through with it? He's a 6-3 as well, which is sad. I'm just gonna get rid of one of the wolves. And 6, nah, I'm passing. Because at least we can defend later with some celestial armor. Yeah, we're, we're gonna get one of those two eventually. Armor. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We've got armor too. Wow, should we do that? I mean, two mobile armories. Alright, let's do it. And they can't def defend against flying. He won't have any more thwacks either. <laughs> okay, give me stats. Relentless? On the flyer. Sneak? On 10-5. Okay, that's fair enough as well. Should have went with the armor, I reckon. But then again, we're doing 3, 5, 8, 11, oh, almost enough damage. Our flies are important. Ooh, there goes our 10 5, that's okay. Four, three. Can remove that armor with the flyer. So he won't kill us here. Do we want to give up a mobile armory for six damage? No, we don't. A mammoth. Okay, guys, I think we've got this in the bag. Because they need something with reach. Okay, so we heal. Okay, here we go. I hope I'm not too late. So let's just go for it. Oh, almost didn't do that. Alright, that's really good for us. They can't take the armor off the flyers, so we can defend with that one too. <laughs> Guys, I think that we have done well. Oh, he let it go through as well. Okay, so we need one final defense. I don't, guys, unless he's got a wipe, I think this is it. Haste. Oh, I always get haste. Oh, well. Haste! What do you know? Haste three times this game. Haste. <laughs> Could have been something else, but it wasn't. Unless he can get rid of all our flyers, this is a game over. Yeah, yeah, game over. Even even though he has like a... No, he, he doesn't need to have the... What is it called? Judgment Day? Destroy all creatures? What else does green have? Trample. Green has trample. That's also something. He's thinking, he's calculating. He had so much, how do you say, like, value early game. But we managed. With our tank and healing, guys. Woo! The Unicorn OP, don't, don't underestimate. Alright, so he gave up. 
All right, that's fair. A reflective golem. Look, just don't even let him. Just attack with the flyers. Cool, guys. Look, there you go. Single color, guys. Reflective golem OP. And we, if we had, uh, what is it called? Pan Harmonican, he would have been like a 15-15. Guys, if you liked the video, please don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't subscribed, I've got two awesome subscribers so far. We're getting there. We're getting there and this game is awesome. So if you have any requests, let me know. Till next time, Cava Studios.